Hey, what's up everybody? I wanna take a few minutes today and do a quick home gym update. It's been about a year and a half since I did my initial home gym tour. Picked up a few items during that time frame, and so I wanted to kind of do a quick walkthrough, show you what I purchased, talk about them a little bit, and with that said, we'll just jump right into it. Um, first off, got these custom cable handles um, that were kind of a combination of some spare trap bar handles as well as these handle straps made by Belt Fed Strength. Um, they're leather straps. They bolt into the handles there. Um, pretty slick. Um, handles feel great, great knurling. The straps are amazing. Very, very happy with those. Also picked up a Pioneer 10 millimeter belt with a PAL, um, a lever belt, which I have not had a lever belt before. Um, enjoyed that. It's definitely an upgrade from the eight and a half millimeter um, Pioneer cut that I had before. Um, I do still use the Pioneer cut belt for dips, weighted dips or pull-ups with this utility strap from Belt Fed Strength as well. Um, it's a little item I picked up a few months ago and it's definitely helps out. It's much easier loading for <laughs> weighted dips and pull-ups. Um, next up again from Belt Fed Strength, reoccurring theme here it seems like. Uh, this is belt fed strength in um, conjunction with surplus strength is their ultimate accessory strap super nice leather um, got very cool where is it there it is see that custom logo there very nicely done all right coming up here i um, recently upgraded my glute ham roller from the titan version to this glute hammy roller from steadfast um, it's nice, it's compact, it's much smaller than the Titan one. The power cutting's nice, the wheels roll smoothly. Um, it's a pretty solid pickup. Um, beside that, this is just in a few days ago, is the Thresher pad from Darko Lifting. Essentially, this is an adjustable pad that mounts to a spotter arm. Um, it has six adjustable angles as well as just a flat angle and um, it's a pretty nifty little pad, um, mainly for things like chest supported rows, uh, chest supported rear delt raises, you know, different exercises like that. Next up is the surplus strength stealth spotter arms. Got them stored here on the back of the rack. These are kind of, <laughs> kind of the love child between Jason and his team at surplus strength and myself. Um, though in this situation, Jason was definitely the woman and I was the man because he did all the work and I was just there. Um, but these are essentially low profile spider arms. I reached out to Jason about a year ago and said, hey man, can you make me some custom low profile spiders? Um, here's what I'm looking for. And a few months later in December, he sent me a message, said, what do you think about this? And he showed me kind of the initial specs and then they were released, I think in February-ish of this year, picked up a pair immediately, and they are awesome. Next up are the stainless steel handles from Mutant Metals. Uh, picked these up to use mainly for neutral grip pull-ups as well as dips, just an upgrade from using the utility posts or utility pins from Rogue and um, the knurling on them is phenomenal. Uh, it's very, very nice. So definitely nice for pull-ups as well as dips. Moving on, we've got the Northland Open Trap Bar V4 from Giant Lifting. I actually won this in a Instagram giveaway from Garage Gym Experiment, which was pretty insane. Next up is the Primal Armor Appalachian Bar. It's a buffalo bar that's designed mainly for home gym use. Um, the nice thing about this bar is it's shorter. It's 87 and a half inches, I believe. You can see it's just a little bit longer than the Ohio Power Bar, shorter than my deadlift bar, which makes it getting in and out of the rack much nicer. I haven't actually gotten to use it yet because again, I just got it yesterday afternoon late. So I'll be taking this for a test drive Monday morning. Very excited to check that out. Another addition is this kind of landmine station. Um, I picked up the Monster Strip as I was waiting for the stealth spotters to arrive with plans of hopefully mounting the stealth spotters to the strip um, by putting a spacer between the wall and the strip. Uh, but I just didn't like the way it was gonna work out. So I ended up using the strip for landmine, picked up some wall, extra wall control to mount some of my landmine attachments. 
right with that station. So that's worked out pretty nicely. And the final thing that I picked up just in the last week is the sand dune stepper. Um, been having some kind of nagging injuries off and on that I've been dealing with. So uh, talking with, again, Jason at Surplus Strength has been a really good friend to me. Um, kind of recommend the sand dune stepper as a way to incorporate to my training to kind of help strengthen my core. And um, I've gotten a couple of sessions in with it and it definitely lives up to the hype. Again, it's another one of those items that's not a necessity. It's not super cheap. Uh, but if you utilize it in your training and you know you get benefits from it, it's definitely worth the price. All right, that's it. If you got any questions about anything specifically, drop them in the comments. Uh, definitely follow me on Instagram if you would like. And let me know also in the comments if you guys would like to see more videos like this, if you'd like to see any specific reviews, or if this is just complete overkill and a waste of everybody's time. Thanks a lot.